Well, members of a fishboat crew in the Comox Valley are out of work after a massive fire that destroyed the commercial vessel on which they depend. The flames broke out on the boat earlier this week, at one point so intense that they threatened part of the wharf nearby. Today, the crew went back to salvage what they could of their livelihoods. CTV's Gord Kerbis was there. When flames tore through this commercial fishing boat at the Comox government wharf, they destroyed the vessel and put five people out of work. The vessel's owners and the crew are now unemployed. I don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see what happens. We don't own a license. We just own a boat. We lease licenses, so we kind of rely on our boat to be able to fish, right? The 42-footer was used to fish for prawns and tuna for six months of each year. The other half of the time was dedicated to making adjustments to the boat. Mike Cullen says his father had just finished getting the vessel just right. It's exactly what we wanted, right? It's kind of my dad's dream boat and he had kind of worked his whole life up to get it, so he how finally... Did he, how did he kind of take the news that it was... Not well. It was a pretty terrifying phone call to make, so... You had to tell him. Yeah. His father is on holidays right now down in the States, luckily not here to witness the blaze. Cullen was called down to the boat as firefighters were still in action. It's kind of like watching your house burn down and your business. Like, I would have rather my house burn down. You know, you can go get a new one. These are irreplaceable. It's a one-off boat, right? Colin, just like the marina's manager, is thankful at how fire crews battled the blaze. This could have been, as you can see, much, much worse if other vessels had been involved. And uh, it's only the quick response and the knowledge of the fire department that has saved us. Sunday's fire is believed to have been started by an electrical problem. It got hot enough to melt the aluminum cover that was over the vessel's deck. Most of what was on the deck and in the wheelhouse is also gone. A lot of money worth of electronics up top is just all fried. The whole engine room's fried. Like it didn't burn down there, but all the heat, just everything just drooped. You'd have to rip everything out. Today, as crew members were stripping off what little they could salvage, they were also contemplating their future. Dad's older now and he's worked pretty hard his whole life, so. I just told them if they pay you out, you should just retire. But it doesn't sound like that's what's going to happen. They're going to try and rebuild it, I think. If that happens, the boat will be living up to its name of rising from these ashes. You see, the vessel is called the Ocean Phoenix. Gord Kerbis, CTV News, Comox.